Hey guys, Mitch here. Today we're continuing the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2013 with part 3 of the series. If you haven't checked out any other parts, I highly recommend it. So without any further ado, let's dive in. First up is Weather Icon 6. Now we saw Weather Icon in iOS 5, but it has been updated to support iOS 6, and it will give real-time weather conditions along with the temperature directly on your Weather Icon on your springboard. Next up is Jelly Lock. Now Jelly Lock is an Android-inspired iOS lock screen for your iPhone. Unlocking it will give you two options. The first one on the left is the camera functionality, which will take you to your camera, and over to the right is the basic unlock. Now if you dive into Jelly Lock settings, you will have some settings such as the lock labels and badges, but you also have a thing known as app shortcuts. Now this will allow you to easily go to each of these specific apps directly from your lock screen. You can pick up to six, three at the top and three at the bottom. And then if you go ahead and unlock your device, those three apps will be displayed on your lock screen. You can just move the icon over to it and head over directly to that application. Atom is another iOS lock screen that has the same functionality as app shortcuts. Unlocking it will give you the option as an unlock button, which will be displayed in the center. But around the center on the left and the right, you will have six applications that you can move the little slider over to. And after you hover over them and let go, it will take you directly to each of those apps. So you have your phone, your mail, your music, your camera functionality, your messages. It will take you directly to each of those applications. Now you can customize the apps to your liking. So if you head over to Atom settings, you can move the position. And you also have a kill switch at the top and the bottom. So guys, this is Atom. VLOX is a pretty cool tweak that allows you to interact with your device's apps to view notification and much more. So swiping up or down on your apps with notifications allow you to see the notifications and you can swipe over to the right to delete them. Uh, if you swipe down from like the compose a new message, a quick messaging box will pop up to allow you to compose a new message. If you do have multiple notifications, it will work and you can select that to go directly to that application that you currently are viewing. So it basically works for pretty much any application. Your photos will give you um, social media sites to post the photos. Your camera will give you a quick access to your camera. Uh, you can go down to the Cydia and it will give you the most recent uh, packages or tweaks that have been updated within the repos. We also have the ability to go to your mail to swipe over to delete the notification. In addition to that, we also have your Twitter, which will give you your Twitter feed here, um, any notifications, who liked your photos, and whatnot. It basically works for any application. One such as these settings will give you some nice um, sliders for volume. You also have your lock screen orientation, airplane mode, Bluetooth, just quick settings that you can swipe down from each um, application. You have your social media sites. Instagram, Facebook, they all work. Next up is Piano Pasco, which allows you to unlock your device with a piano. So you, as you can see there, it will display a piano passcode. In the settings, you can customize the um, code, and after you customize it, you just have to do a simple respring. So I'll show you one more time, back the lock screen. And there you go. Mini Player is a jailbreak concept based off the iTunes 11 Mini Player on your computer. So you do have your iPod controls, play slash pause, previous, next. And if you go ahead and double tap on it, it will display a new black theme over the white theme. And this can be hidden on both the right hand side and the left hand side of your device. If you head over to the settings of it, you can go ahead and set an action with an activator to have it hidden. Mine is the double press of the home button while it is hidden on your side or while it is displayed on your device. You can also have this work on your lock screen and have it completely hidden when your music is being um, paused. So in addition to that, we also have some more controls such as holding down the iTunes album artwork, which will display a volume slider so you can move that up or down to change the volume. And if you go ahead and actually click on the iTunes album art once, it will take you over to your music controls or your, your music library to change the song to your liking. Lock screen toggles gives you easy access to toggles by just swiping away from the lock screen clock. Once there, you can go ahead and swipe down, and this will give you some additional toggles that you can rearrange the order to have displayed overhead. So the toggles um, include your respring, flashlight, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You can just rearrange these to your liking, and the top five will be displayed at the top so that when you swipe over from the clock, you have easy access to these toggles, and you can easily click on them to change out the setting. Luna improves the way you use and enable iOS's Do Not Disturb mode by simply swiping down from the time on your lock screen to enable and swiping down one more time to disable. Now this concept can be used in the notification center as well by just swiping down and swiping down once more to disable it. 
Now Luna also improves the functionality of do not disturb mode. When unlocked, you also have a non-obstructive nocturnal banners for when notifications come in. Lockbar settings is another simple tweak that allows you to have access to four quick settings from your lock screen by just swiping up from the slide to unlock bar. So these toggles include the Wi-Fi, your flashlight, your Bluetooth, and a quick respring mode. So just swipe up from the slide to unlock or a double press of it and you will have access to these toggles. Now in the settings you can change out the toggles and the order from the airplane, Bluetooth, flashlight, respring. And then once you have those, you can easily just go back to your lock screen, swipe up or double press of the lock screen, or excuse me, the slide to unlock bar, and you have access to those toggles. Last but certainly not least is access. Now access gives you quick and convenient access to your favorite apps straight from the lock screen via grabbers. So all you do is go ahead and click on that camera button and swipe over, and you will see the list of toggles and just swipe up for one. For here we have the phone. If you head over again, you can go to the messages and swipe up. And last but not least, you can just head over once more and go to your music playing if you have specified that in the settings. So each of these specific categories can be specified in Access's settings. So you do have your basic, your messaging, your social media, your productivity, all these things can be customized. So at the top here, you will see the different ones of the categories. And all you have to do is go ahead for your messages. Um, you will see a little outline of the ones that you do have displayed. For right now, we're gonna click on the messages. If you want to change out your social media to Facebook, if you don't want Twitter or you want to do Instagram, you can easily and conveniently do that. So now you will display a Facebook logo instead of the Twitter in Access's settings, and you can easily have those convenient ways of accessing it directly from your lock screen. So this concludes part three of the series. If you want to be notified for part four, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one.